Hell's Kitchen. Now, go Jackie. Come on, Jack. In the creative cooking relay challenge. Switch. Switch. Come on, Amanda. The chef's ability to communicate was tested. Where is everything? Everything's sitting right in front of you. Can I get the fettle in the pan? This is so intense, it's not even funny. Both teams had strong performances. Point goes to the red team. Yes. Thank you, Chef. And the blue team. Oh, Good yes. job. We have a tie. But it was the sea bass that was awarded best dish and won it for the blue team. Well done. Good job. But the victory didn't cheer up Frank. Am I going to be thrown under the bus again? Who was still holding a grudge from being singled out by his team at the last elimination. What's the problem? It's personal because, like, my attitude and who I am is basically why I went up for elimination. It's just unfortunate that I have to work with backstabbers. And it spilled over into dinner service. Two risotto, correct? Frank, two risotto? Risotto right here, Chef. Where's the lobster at? I kind of thought that when you were a Marine, you had to rely on each other. In the Red Kitchen, Ashley's problems with risotto. Pumpkin soup. Got the Red Team off to a shaky start. Look at this. Are you done? Both teams recovered and had respectable dinner services. Walking with two hard to charge. Walking with steaks. I'm walking with strips. This has been one of the best services so far. First yeah. finish wins. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. And in the race to the finish. An untimely mistake from Jackie and Ashley. It's cooked, though. Take it off right now. All right, go. Yes, go. Let's roll. Cost the red team the win. Good. Blue team, congratulations. Well done. Thank, Thank you, Jack. I knew that fucking shit was wrong. While Jackie was a sore loser. You don't get to just stir shit around because you're having a temper tantrum. Ashley broke down. What's wrong? I'm better than that. The red team, not surprisingly, nominated... Ashley. And... Jackie. Chef Ramsay questioned Ashley's experience. Having parents that own restaurants doesn't necessarily make you qualify to be a success in this industry. But ultimately, he felt the time had come for... Jackie. ...to say goodbye to her dream of becoming head chef at BLT Steak at Bally's in Las Vegas. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Get out of here. <laughs> oh. Oh my God, that was the absolute scariest moment of my entire life. Holy fuck, that was terrible. What are you crying for? You didn't go home. If I would have went home over Jackie, I would have fucking killed myself, seriously. <laughs> He's looking for an executive chef, not somebody that's gonna grow into an executive chef. Not somebody that has her daddies to fall back on either. That's what he was saying to me, basically. Like, would I realistically be in this business without them? You have to come to Hell's Kitchen and get a head chef job, but your daddy's own three restaurants. They don't trust you to run one of them? They didn't even name one of them after you. Oh, God. I thought I was gone. I didn't. I'm just like... <laughs> Like, what is that? This isn't fucking a soap opera. A dramatic evening. The chefs have been called down to meet Chef Ramsay for an early start out front of Hell's Kitchen. Hey, buongiorno. Bonjour. Hi. How are you? Okay, this is weird. Oh my God. Oh, look at his outfit. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell is this? Are we making ice cream? Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Chef. Hell's Kitchen is a stressful place, so I thought today I'd give you a little break. 
You're right. right. Chef Ramsay has two smiles, a very genuine, like, happy smile and a you're about to get fucked up smile. And we get out of there and <laughs> serve them an ice cream. Come on. We know we're not just getting off scot-free. This is Hell's Kitchen. Every treat comes with a trick. Oh. Where the fuck did he get that suit from? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, every time Marino puts an outfit on, I just want to like take him home with me. <laughs> take one. Good night, Paisan. Thank you. Don't be scared. Thank you. It's really good. Listen, today there is a wide range of ice cream, and if it's done right, with one small taste, you can immediately identify the key flavor. So for your challenge, a Hell's Kitchen first. I'll be testing your palate using ice cream. Wow. In the blind taste test. Oh, yeah. Yes, Chef. It's ice cream. This is great. Yeah. You'll all taste four different ice creams and use your palates to identify the flavors that are buried within. Now, there will be no dunk tanks this year. But I still feel it's important that one chef needs to feel the consequences of another chef's mistakes. Oh, no. So I decided to take advantage of all those great toppings that go with ice cream. Oh, <laughs> no! oh That's fucking oh, disgusting. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is going to get in my hair. I actually rather have dunk tanks. Listen carefully. If you get three wrong answers, one of your teammates will get blasted with delicious, tasty toppings. If you get four wrong, we'll put some whipped cream on top. I love whipped cream on top. Who doesn't? Let's go. Ariel and Frank, Kristen and Amanda, head to the cannons, please. Hi, Ariel. Go, Frank. For the first time ever in the blind taste test, Chef Ramsay will be testing the chef's palates on ingredients that have been infused into ice cream. Ariel, can you hear me? Frank, can you hear me? The team that correctly identifies the most flavors wins the challenge. Delicious. Avocado. Wow, that's hard. Mmm. Mmm. Cheese, Chef. Cheese. What? Wrong. Come on, Frank, just say anything. Here's or not, Joe. Oh. Wrong. Number two, coconut. Coconut, Chef. Yes. Congratulations. Oh. Frank, I'll get this. Pistachio. Oh. <sighs> coconut. Come on, Frank. Amanda, are you getting nervous? A little bit. Good. Third one. Let's make it a little bit easier, shall we? Mm. Melon, Chef. Melon. <sighs> Mint, Chef. What? what? Oh, man. What the fuck? Mint? Like, are you straight guessing here? That's three wrong. You know what that means. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Fire away. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I look like I just got fucking murdered. Sherry. <laughs> That's horrible. Last one. <sighs> Peanut butter. Mmm. Peanut butter. <laughs> well done. Thank God. Thank God. Come on, Frank. Snickers? Snickers? <laughs> Poor Frank. He's so stupid. Snickers isn't an ingredient. <laughs> Amanda. Fuck me. I told you we'd be getting some whipped cream on top. Fire away. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Frank. You're getting a hug, whether you like it or not. Frank, you tried. Yeah. Oh. Gross. OK, next up, Ashley, Gerard, let's go. Cannons, Ariel, and Danny. Huh? Oh. Something for my hair? Talk to Gerard. Sure, man. I'll do my best, Danny. Come on. I would be embarrassed to like, stand in front of Chef Ramsay and be like, my biggest concern right now is that someone's going to get whipped cream in my hair. My hair is my thing, Jared. OK, let's start off with an easy one. Lemon. Mmm. Even smells fragrant. Lemon. Lime. <laughs> my hair. OK, let's go for one of my favorites, pistachio. Mmm, come on. Figs. Figs? Cherry. Oh, oh, man. Danny, stand by. Don't know how long you spent getting that hair ready this morning, but he's on a different no. universe. Pistachio. Jared, I could kill you right now. Let's go a little bit easier, shall we? Mmm, bacon. 
Oh my god, ew. Um, come on, Ashley. Beef. Beef? Beef ice cream? Very right animal. There is no excuse for not knowing what bacon ice cream tastes like. It's nasty. Come on, Gerard. Hazelnut. <laughs> come on, dude. My hair. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. What was that? Ooh, sorry, Danny. I for sure felt that cannon go off. That looks good, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Last one. Come on, guys. Cinema. Come on, Ashley. Open. He's got to get one. Surely, or does Danny get creamed? Come on, Ash. Cinnamon. Yes! Woo! Cinnamon. Thank you! Oh, my gosh, my hair thanks you. About damn time. Blue team got a point, fucking finally. Mandy, it's time for you to taste along with Kristen. Let's go. Go, Amanda. Frank and Ashley, you know where you're going. It's fantastic. Let's start off with a taste of coffee. She's got that. Amanda eats a ton of sweets. She should get this easily. Coffee? Yes. <laughs> coffee. Yes. Nice. Right, let's go for something a little bit more adventurous. Banana. Banana. Wow. Come on, Amanda. Oh, that one's tough. Um. Seriously? Oh, shit. What is it? Um. Just say it. Chocolate. Yeah. She bombed it. Right, let's turn up a little bit, shall we? Strawberry. Easy. Strawberry. Oh. Yes. Come on, Manda. Strawberry? Yes. Good job. Last one. Corn. That one's going to be hard. The score, seven to three. If red gets this right and blue misses, red wins. Chris is just fucking crushing it. So I'm just praying that Manda gets it. Salty. Um. Come on. Fish. Fish. Can I, Whoa. Can I taste that? Really? Really? Fish? Corn. <laughs> if Kristen gets this right, congratulations, red team. Come on, Kristen. Um. Um. Butter. It was corn. That one was hard. Red team, seven to three. It's going to be tough on this one. Blue gets one wrong. Red team have one. Last up, Ariel. Danny, let's go. With one fewer chef, Ariel must take a second turn tasting for the red team. Kristen and Gerard, on the podiums, please. Let's go. <sighs> Danny, listen carefully. Either way, we're going to taste all four. Yes, chef. This is not looking good for the blue team right now. But you know, what am I going to do, make excuses? No, you just step up and you try your best. Let's start off with green tea. Ooh, that's oh, my favorite. No. That's my favorite, too. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Come on, Ariel. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was mean. Come on, Ariel. Come on. You got this. Fish. Yes. Fish. Are you serious? So mean. <sighs> okay. Come on, Danny. Uh, Come on. Uh, I need an answer. Pepper Chef. <sighs> Fuck. Red Team, congratulations. Seriously, well done. Yes! Oh, thank God. We whooped the blue team's ass. Let's continue. I'm dying to see. Apple. Oh. Apple, Chef. Watermelon, maybe? Uh, let's go with something refreshing. Fresh mint. Mmm. Not too sure what's going on with Danny's palate. Mint, chef. Good girl. Stand by, Gerard. Tastes like marshmallow. Marshmallow? <laughs> marshmallow? Mint! Gerard! Ooh. Blast away! <laughs> <laughs> OK, last one. Mmm, garlic. Come on. God. <laughs> Unbelievable. Garlic, chef. Some type of nut. Guess oh. almond. Garlic. Zero for four, Danny. Have fun with that whipped cream, Jared. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun cleaning all that whipped cream out of your hair, Jared. Oh, wait, you're bald. It should just wipe right off. Red team dominated. Thank you, chef. Ariel, you had five out of eight. Brilliant. Well done. Thank you, chef. As a chef, you have to have a strong palate, and I killed it today. You're in for a treat. I'm funding one of the most 
amazing shopping sprees. No way. Mm. It's Roland's Gourmet Kitchenware. Yes. It's a chef's dream. There's a credit line. $2,000. Oh, what? Have fun. Thank, Thank you, you, Chef. Blue Team, it stinks to lose, right, Manda? Yes, Chef. It's going to stink a whole lot more, and here's why. You're going to be working one of the most foul-smelling fruits on the planet, the durian fruits. Oh, the durian oh. fruits. Oh. Durian fruit smells like hot garbage. It's fucking foul. Like, it's illegal to open up durian fruit in the city of Singapore. It's illegal. You'll be breaking down piles of durian fruit, gagging along the way, and then turning that fruit into a delicious dessert that's going to be featured on tonight's service in Hell's Kitchen. Red team, go get changed. Good job. Have fun with that durian fruit, blue team. Smell you later. That's an awesome reward they got. Out of everything, it's like, I want that equipment. Yeah, the, chan the rewards are fun and nice and cool, good memories, but there's nothing tangible you take from them. You know what I mean? Am I the only one who got, like, any right? I feel like I just got screwed by my team again. Frank and Danny and Jared, <laughs> you fucking suck. Not cool, you. It's harder than it seems. It's very hard. Yeah. yeah. Right. While everyone on the blue team tries to avoid taking the fall, the red team is ready to shop till they drop. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Roland. Wow. Have fun. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, I could definitely get down with an indoor girl when I want this. I felt like a little chef princess. <laughs> Ah, oh, is this a whack? It was like my birthday and Christmas had a baby, and it was called uh, Winning This Challenge. <laughs> Where did you see a sausage maker? On display. This is sweet. It's a chef's dream to have that much money to spend in a restaurant store. Usually it's like, I'm only going in because I need something. So it was cool to let my imagination run wild and get the most bang for Chef Ramsay's buck. Oh, an ice cream this maker. One. I want this so bad. <laughs> I might get this bad boy. I got a blender, theory knife. I got a grill. I got a $220 cutlery set. Like, I don't know. I got so much stuff. I'm excited. All right, you're 100 bucks over. Ah. <laughs> While the winners go for broke, the losers. It stinks already. It really does. Break into the smelliest of all fruits, durian. Ugh. Oh, God. Durian fruit is foul like coconuts from hell. Ow. Who opened this up and was like, oh, this smells terrible. I'm going to eat it. Can you imagine how hungry he had to be? The sick bastard. Ugh. My stomach is turning right now. And we're supposed to make a delicious dessert out of this. Chef, go ahead and mix it with the water, right? Go yeah, ahead. you can mix it with the water. All right. Cold is fine. Chef, what is it? Mochi. Dessert? Mochi, the, the yeah. Korean dish? Yeah. Oh. So that's like the dough for the before. outside? Yeah, now you know. I lived in Korea for like 18 months. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mochi's my favorite. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I grew up in Brooklyn. I'm Italian, obviously. If you didn't know that. I think Frank's starting to see that he's not as strong of a competitor as he thought he was. So he's trying to get on Chef Aaron's good side. So Chef Aaron reports back to Chef Ramsay that, oh, yeah, Frank's a great guy. He's, he belongs here. I actually know the post the military for for being a chef. I look up to Chef Aaron, and I would go to war with Chef Aaron, you know, any day of the week. I'm known across the military for being a chef. Uh -huh. I don't think he knows, like, how much I love him and fucking appreciate him. I'm a personal chef for the Commandant of the Marine Corps, so the four-star general. Frank's so annoying. He's just trying to brown nose his way through life, and I don't care who you are, what you do, just do your fucking job. I do dinners for, like, the President of the United States, Vice President, ambassadors, prime ministers, and, like, all politicians from all over the world and stuff. Can you so. stop with that? Keep working, let's go. The women have now returned from their shopping spree reward. Garnish is good. And both kitchens are in busy prep mode for tonight's dinner service. Uh, blue team. Yes, chef. I'm watching everything. I'm listening to everything. The way that you work with each other is key. Always a sign of a great chef when he uses those around him to make his team and himself look good. Understood, yes? Chef. Yes, chef. Ladies, yes, listen chef, carefully. Chef. Yes, chef. Six of your team have gone. So get out the gate early, stay vocal, and nail it. Three talented individuals looking to win this thing. I want to hear it. Is yes, that chef. clear? Yes, chef. 
Mourinho. See you, chef. Open house kitchen, please. See you, chef. While the fully booked dining room fills with eager customers, the blue team. Diners in. Heads up. Plots their victory, planning to capitalize on the fact that they have one more chef than the red team. Just like last night, yeah? Yep. Just like last night. Yes, yeah, chef. Hands here scallops. I know the fuck it was table 32, two risotto, two carbonara. Yes, chef. chef. Six minutes on risotto, and you're cool with me, but I'm just letting you know. I heard six minutes. As the competition gets smaller and smaller, there is no time for error anymore. Nothing but perfection will do. How my carbonaras? Almost done. About 30 seconds out. 30 seconds heard. I'm walking the lobster tail right now. Perfect, thank you. Right behind. The two carbonaras are up. Walking the risotto. Behind the chef. Very nice for those ultimate. Yeah? Delicious. Thank you, Chef. We're gonna win this shit tonight. Black jackets are coming soon. Come hell or high water, I'm getting a fucking black jacket. <laughs> no laughing. Go, please. Ready for the next ticket, guys? Yep. Hurt. The red team is off to a confident start. While in the blue kitchen, appetizers are underway. About four minutes. Hurt. And Frank on fish is coordinating with Danny on appetizers as orders continue to roll in. I know the full camera's table 12, yes? Two results to two scallops? Yes, chef. Seven minutes up to the window, two scallops to risotto. Hurt, seven minutes out. How long, two risotto, two scallops? She needs seven minutes, chef. About two minutes out to the window, not even. Two. Right, well, hurry up, let's go. Drop the scallops right now. Chef, I need a solid three minutes to the window. This guy's fucking me, bro. Danny calls out five, six minutes, seven minutes, eight. Okay, let me know which order. You know what I'm saying? I'm all the way in the back. Risotto walk in. Oh, man. Come on, Frank. Frank, scallops. Yeah. Come on, you. So slow. Danny's not communicating. And it sucks because her fuck ups can make it look like it was my fuck up. Service, please. Despite their less than perfect communication, Frank and Danny have delivered on appetizers. Very good. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen, Chef Ramsey has taken note of their performance so far. Red team. Yes, Chef. Your best start so far. Vocal, communicate, but more importantly, coming together as a team. Six cups of table 30. Three results and three scallops. Yes, Chef. It's three scallops, right? Three scallops, yeah. Three scallops going with three risotto. Yeah. The three of us are the top contenders to be the next head chef at BLT. But as much as we're opponents, we all know that we're not going to get there unless we work as a team. Are you dropping now? I'm dropping the third order of scallops right now. Heard. Keep pushing, keep pushing. I'm walking the risotto. Heard. I need another 60 seconds. Uh, Kristen? Yes, chef. Where's the rest of the risotto? Hurry up! You thought that was supposed to be three portions. Yes, chef. I... Now you're fucking blind. Sorry, Why? chef. I'll I don't get it. it. Three scallops, I'm taking to the pass. Hot. You need to take them Two. out. They're going to overcook. OK, put it down. You're not listening. You're not even answering me now. You're just staring at me. I'm, just, I'm trying to listen. You need to take them out of the fucking yes, pan. Sir. They're okay. going to overcook, OK? Yes, hey, ladies, you've gone a little bit fucking AWOL. Look at me. I come and tell you that this is the most perfect start. 30 seconds later, you fuck me. Slow down a little bit, guys, OK? It's called perfection, yes? Not fucking rushing. You have to bounce back. Like, there's no time for you to get angry or you, for you to feel offended or for you to disagree. There's just no time for that. Keep focused, guys. While Kristen and Ariel try to get back in sync on appetizers, the blue team has pulled together and completed theirs. My scallops are fabulous. Two snap or two Wellington away. And are moving onto the first entrees of the night. All right, on deck. Two snap or two Welly. Hey, I got two snapper in the pizza oven right now. Well, wellies. wellies are ready to go when you are. Hey, you guys watching that snapper? Yeah. Snapper, I got it. One more minute on this snapper. Minute heard. I am willing to do everything and anything to make sure that we don't go down tonight. That's why we're a team and that's why we're a kitchen. I'm walking garnish for snapper. Two wellies, left side, chef, left side. You checking the snapper over there? Got it, Amanda. Yes, bring it, chef. Snapper. Blue team. Frank, speed up, let's go. Raw fish. How thick is the fish? Very thick. Thicker than last night. There's no two fish the same, right? But it's undercooked. Yeah, chef. I'm sorry, Frank. If I tell you to watch something, just fucking watch it. You know what I mean? Don't send it abroad. Come on, blue team. Come on. Speed up a bit now, OK? Are they in the pan yet? No, not yet, chef. Oh, fuck me. Frank, get them in the pan. Please, please, please. Frank, can you bounce back a little bit? Yes. You can.
That's it, blue team. Yeah, we switched off. No, yeah, no, 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 like, bounce back. You fucked me over. What do you mean, bounce back? I'm dragging four snapper. Jared, Jared, I got two, pe two snapper hurry, in the pizza oven. Thank you. Here we go. Frank just tries to pass the buck. You checking the snapper over there? That's what Frank does. Frank tries to be like, well, if my hands didn't touch it last, it's not my problem. Come on, snapper. I need it right now, right now. Snapper, right now. Snapper. With the refired snapper making its way to the dining room, the blue team is back on track. Or are they? Okay, it's no bueno. It's in the back. Really? Oh, Minka. That's, uh, that's, that's no good at all. Good, and then I started out yeah. But maybe we, they thought that you ordered some sashimi. Let me take this, please. I'm so sorry. I apologize for it. Chef? What's the matter? This is the table 22. They oh, already no. waited for the fish, and they're raw inside. They're undercooked. Oh. Hey, for now on, don't, don't just don't touch the snapper until I look at it, please. Okay. Yes. Please. Thank yes. you. It sucks because I'm getting fucked by everybody else, and I'm dragging now on fish because of them. But like, I didn't push out those snappers. While Frank continues to point fingers over in the red kitchen. VIP table, yes. Entree: two Wellington, two snapper. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. So, Kristen, get the fucking risotto and put it up in here, and jump on the garnish. Yes, chef. The red team is feeling the pressure, having only three chefs, as Kristen transitions yes, from appetizers to garnish. Ashley, pass everything you need to the risotto. Yes, chef. So you can do the garnish and the risotto at the same time. Yes, chef. That's how you multitask, right? Yes, yes chef. Thank you. I was jumping from one station to the next station. I did not have time to be scared, so I'm just going to push even harder tonight. Six cup of table 30, entree, two artichar, one snapper, three New York strip. Will you tell me how long you need on the snapper? Five minutes on the next two snapper. Heard. The garnish is right there for it. That's also going with what? New York's or Wellies? It's two snapper, two Wellington, followed by two Arctic char, one snapper, three New York strip. I had no idea what was fired. All I heard was New York's char, snapper, Welly. Like, it made me look like a fumbling idiot. I'm walking your snapper. All right, you got a snapper garnish in the window? Snapper garnish isn't ready yet, Ashley. Oh, wait, yeah, it is. I gave it to the chef already. Ah, I'm getting garnish. confused. Should work your char garnish. Yes, yeah. I'm getting so confused. Walk in with Wellington. Asparagus. That's the Christian. Yes, chef. Asparagus. 30 seconds, glazing the asparagus, chef. Hey, and look at me. Wellington garnish, all you give me these potatoes. I made a mistake, chef. Fucking hell. I've been through hell. I just got a divorce. I gave up a lot of my career to be with my husband. It was not good. Kristen, get in front of it. Working hard, chef. You know, I made the choice to leave. Now I'm here. I've grown as a person. I feel like I'm more focused than I, I think I've ever been in my life. Come on, are you okay? Yes, chef. Are you sure? Yes, chef. Asparagus is green bean. Hey, all of you, come here. I asked for asparagus, you bring me green bean. Green beans for char, chef, absolutely. Are you okay? Yes, chef, I just Look said. at me, are you sure? Yes, chef. That is a green bean. Yes, chef. Not baby asparagus. It's not for the Wellington, chef. I want the fucking asparagus for the Wellington. I can't go down right now. It's time to put that fucking bulletproof vest on and just push the shit right out the gate. Can someone bail her out with a fucking garnish, please? Let's go. Come on, Kristen. Let me just finish it, all right? Let me finish it. I got it. I have all to right, asparagus up and then the char garnish. Heard? Heard. While Kristen fights to regain her footing on the garnish station, in the blue kitchen, Chef Ramsay is looking for... Two Arctic char, two snapper, two New York strip, yeah? I'm searing strips. New York strips are hard to test. They're thick pieces of steak, so it takes a little longer to cook. How long? I'm How going strips right now, Amanda. You're going strips, your strips garnishes up. Right here, chef. Blue team. Yeah, hey, look, well done, New York strip. John. Yes, chef. Seriously? Two minutes on refire, chef. Jared, come on. At this point, I mean, you need to prove that you could cook fucking steak. New York strip. Walking to the past. Hey, we're going from overcooked to blue now. Not even the fucking marble of the fat. Overcooked to blue. Yes, chef. I don't think we're getting our food anytime soon. <laughs> All right, bounce back. Come on, guys. Get Come that on, in. guys. Not again, dude. 30 seconds on New York strip refire. 30 seconds, hurry. How can you go from extremely overcooked to raw? I don't get it. Medium rare, chef. Oh, man, fucking hell. Hey, 
Is that you? Did, did, did you gash that? I gash that, Chef. Oh, shit. This is not good. Chef, I slice it to check the temperature. And what about the touch? Chef, New York strips are difficult for me. The steaks are thick today. But you can't say that to Chef. You got to be like, yes, Chef, whatever you say, Chef. Lick the floor, Chef, sure, no problem, Chef. I expect you to cook a New York strip. Yes, Chef. And if you can't, yes, Chef. I'll drop you off at the fucking airport. No, Chef. With Jared's third attempt at New York strips a failure, Chef Ramsay shifts his attention to the Red Kitchen. Oh, fuck my life, that was hot. Where the pressure is on Ashley to deliver on meat. Two snapper to New York strip. Ashley, four minutes. Four Pick minutes it up. Hurt, Look chef. at me. She's engaging. She's engaging. You're refusing to engage. Yes, Chef. Let's go. I'm right here, Chef. I'm in the zone. I'm in the zone. I'm focusing on my strips and my wellies. They have to be perfect so you don't yell at me. Walk it with my strips. Two Wellington to Arctic Char. We should be just under two minutes of the window, yes? Yes, Chef. Let's go. I'm ready with my wellies. Two Char coming to the pass right now, Chef, on your right. Walk in with Wellington. Wellington, nicely cooked. Yes, Chef. Those New York strips are cooked perfectly. Thank you, Chef. I could die very happily at this moment. Absolute perfection on every protein. Great job. Ashley and Ariel are truly delivering on meat and fish. Second. Meanwhile. 30 seconds on New York strip refire. Oh, my god. The blue team's refires are wreaking havoc with Manda on garnish. Chair garnish, welcome I just, one minute. Who are you talking to? Frank, watch your attitude. How long on welly garnish? Welly garnish. Three minutes. I need it now. Two New York strip I'm dragging. Strip right now, chef. I'm not done garnish. But we have to. But that was up there. I refired the same shit like five times. No, stop. All the fucking garnish was up. And I had to refire it. Because there's steaks that are gashed and. God knows what else. Right behind. Hey, it looks terrible. It's bland. There's no salt in there. Have you given up? Not at all, chef. Each station night is just dumping me shit now. It's like we're just rushing and throwing shit out. What's going through my mind right now? Would you like to know? I have not got the same four chefs in the kitchen I had last night. Hey, it's embarrassing. All right, guys, I can go on two New Yorks. Two char. I got I two need... char ready right now. Wait, don't Frank, don't walk it yet. Garnish isn't up yet. Amanda, you got all your garnish? No, it's not. Don't screw her over like that, please. Don't screw her over. That, just Frank, enough with the attitude. <laughs> I'm over Frank. He's got such a shitty fucking attitude. And you'd think that because he's a fucking Marine that he'd be all about teamwork, but instead he's just like, <laughs> like gonna fucking laugh at me? Like, fuck you, dude. Char garnish walking right now. Behind. Hey. Walking to the pass four times. Not gas, chef. Hi, hi. Thank you very much. Breaking news. The steaks aren't gassed. Great man. <laughs> Go, please, to New York with our own. With entrees finally flowing out of the kitchen, the blue team sees some light at the end of the tunnel. It was worth the wait. It was worth the wait. It's really good. good. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen. Finally, one Arctic Char, one Wellington, ladies. Last table. Yes, chef. Last table heard. The red team's fearsome threesome is dashing for the finish line. Chris, I'm firing my last char. Heard. I need four minutes on garnish to the window. All right. Finish strong, yeah? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Three people in the kitchen. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. There is nowhere to hide. But we pulled it off. We beasted that whole service. Walk in with Wellies. I'll take Char. Come into the pass in 30 seconds, Chef. Green beans, Chef. Serve that, please. 32-41. Ladies, great job. Thank you, Three chef, of you. chef. Thank you, Chef. Great job. That was our best service yet, ladies. On it. Nice bounce back. With the red team feeling like heroes. You need two Char and two New York. The blue team zero in on their last tickets. Frank, you say you can go? Yes. Char walking, Chef. Go, please. Lovely. Thank you so much. Mm. Oh, amazing. So good. Thank you again for coming. Line up, ladies, please. Yes, Chef. Line up, blue team. Red team, that was your best performance with only three of you in the kitchen. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Blue team, every station tonight had issues. Let's get that right. Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. Head to the door and come to consensus on two individuals who should be put up to leave. The good news is you're sport for choice, and maybe all four of you should go home. Get out of here. Yes, Chef. 
I'm constantly, every single day, like, let down by my fucking team. I'm hoping one of these idiots goes home tonight and not me. Does anybody want to volunteer to go first? Everyone made mistakes. You kept giving me different times every time I asked you. But I felt Jared just felt all the way around tonight. But I had those stakes ready to go, and I'm calling out because of Garnish. We all lost it for our team. I refuse to let myself just go home for this bullshit. I belong here. I'm gonna go with Frank. And then Amanda on Garnish. For me, Amanda, it was a struggle because I had no fucking idea what was going on. At one point, you had your head down and I screamed your name twice and I didn't even get a what back. I just know like I ran into a lot of issues at the end and it was all because of refires on Meat Station. Right, and it's just like, honestly, everyone lost communication. Yeah, and then Frank, instead of answering me, you laughed at me. Right, when you told me, don't give me a fucking attitude? Yeah. Instead of giving me a response, he gave me an attitude, and I was like, you know, you hold your fucking attitude. Why are you bringing this shit to me? Like, I'm you're, just you're looking saying, for a fight. Like, no, look I'm how not looking for a fight. negative you're being. You really just want to round me up. In the beginning, it's always, you know, bend a little bit and stretch a little bit for the team. Now it's, you know, now it's fuck you. Yeah. Amanda, you weren't the calmest, and you had a huge attitude with everybody tonight in the garden station. Just wanted to let you know. I did not have an attitude with anybody. I felt the attitude. Well, it was my fault, so. Frank, where are you going? Ugh, they're snakes. It's amazing how them three made it as far as they did. They just fucking suck. Now you can talk shit about me, because I'm walking away. Scumbags. It was the red team's best dinner service yet, and one of the blue team's worst. Chef Ramsey has instructed them to nominate two chefs for elimination. Amanda, blue team's first nominee and why? Our first nominee is Jared. Jared. Meat Station had a hard time bouncing back, and it set the tone for the rest of the night. Second nominee and why? Second nominee is Frank. Same reason, he had a hard time bouncing back and his communication shut down. Jared, Frank, step forward, please. Yes, Chef. Jared. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I don't feel that I'm the weakest member of the blue team at all. I feel like I'm one of the stronger ones, and tonight I was the only one talking. And who doesn't talk? Amanda and Danny don't talk. Frank. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I'm a huge team player, and I, and I live off of that. Truthfully, Chef, but dinner service tonight, you know, three snappers are sh sent out that I did not send out. I mean, my name is on that, so, I mean, it's, it's rough. How can you say that you had snappers that you didn't send out? I put them by the pizza oven, and I told Jared, Danny, Amanda to watch it, and they sent it out without, you know, checking it, obviously, because it was raw. Who did you put in charge of your snapper in the oven? Uh, the first one was Amanda. Is that correct, young lady? I checked the tail end, and the tail end looked done. I ran it up to the pass. I should have checked the middle. I don't know why I didn't, but yes. That's one snapper. What about the others? After that, I have no idea, Chef. Jared, did you send raw snapper? Chef, Danny is the one that ran them up to the pass. Danny's in the mix now. No, Chef, I touched no snapper to take to the pass at all tonight. Come on, snapper. I need it right now, right now. Snapper, right now. Snapper. So the snapper walked up by itself. Come on, guys. I mean, no, no, it definitely didn't walk up by itself. But I didn't. I know I didn't take any snapper up at all tonight. Let's get one thing right. None of you performed brilliantly tonight. The person leaving House Kitchen is. Frank. Give me your jacket, big boy. Yes, chef. Thank you. Unfortunately, it turned out to be uh, Frank's last night because of a popularity contest. The blue team never had any drama until the females came aboard, and that's when the ship sunk. And that's exactly why I get fucking female Marines and I send them back wherever the fuck they came from. Head chefs need to cut through the bullshit and move on. Good night.
chef motion. Now that Frank is gone, I think the blue team is going to be a lot stronger. I'm nervous about only having three people in our kitchen, but if the girls can do it, damn straight we can do it. I'm the last man in this house. Only Y chromosome right here. Living with five women is going to be rough. The blue team is all in shambles. If they do not start to work together as a unit, they are not going to survive. So get it together or get the fuck out of our way. Like all Marines, Frank was strong and very proud. Unfortunately for him, he's just not ready for the rank of head chef. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. When the competition for black jackets gets real. What do you want? Black jacket chef! Will one chef be so determined? I want a black jacket like a fat kid wants cake. To be the last man standing. No, 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 no more salt in there. Who sees him that? Danny. That he will do anything to take his rivals down. See that? It's a hair chef. It's gotta be Amanda's. You know what? Back the fuck up off me. And could a hip hop star in the red kitchen? Holy shit, little John. We are freaking out. Hi. Hey. Ariel. Turn the ladies. Enjoy your dinner. Enjoy. Enjoy the show. Into squealing fangirls. <laughs> yeah. Hey, right, ladies, get a grip, yeah? Get yes, a grip, yes. Yes. Get ready. <laughs> because once jackets go black... I want that black jacket so bad. You better watch your back. This is intense. Welcome to hell. It's all next time on Hell's Kitchen.